I'm dredging down the canal from Wilton to Weedon and uh, you can see the they've got these uh, pontoons out and uh, two, three days ago I cycled down here to go to the supermarket right down I suppose down this uh, down the towpath these weren't here two days ago so this is uh, yeah this has arrived probably on Friday I guess ready for starting work on Monday um, so yeah they just load the um, I've seen them do it in Wiltshire they just load the uh Keep padding I hear banjos. What's it that saying? Private mooring. Keep pacing. Keep I hear banjos. I don't know what that keep pacing I hear banjos. Right, so that's a nice sign, isn't it? Don't it's a bit anyway, so yeah, that's um Don't know what they'll be doing with that one. It's got like a little hammer thing on it. Like a little hammer. So um not sure. And they've got some stakes there, look, some stakes. Maybe it'll be, um, not sure what that's about. We'll have to drop drop back down here when um, once they get going. Keep an eye on the progress. This is where uh, you've got all the moorers. You see, the moorers are usually, there's like a little community, like a hippie community almost. It's like down. Like they, uh, they like the woods, they like it in the, it's a bit dark really, but they like it, so it's a bit of a, uh, I did more up down there just to, when I first got here the first time and I found it a bit, it's nice, but I'm a bit of a sun person, so that's what I like, the sun, I always have, I always will. Uh, What's this one? It's a little chipper. So you've got a chipper. Um, mulcher, I suppose they call it. And uh, got a lot of space on it, this one. So, I don't know, maybe there's enough for another machine on the back there, I don't know. So let's have a little look a bit further down. Uh, so, one of the boaters has tried to hang himself. Yeah. We tried to stand on those crates. It's like he's got even got a little loop in it. Um, I'm just uh, looking at this little hose thing that I got from uh, Amazon. Um, it's called a retractable hose, which is not unusual to lots of hoses that you can pick up. They're all called retractable houses nowadays. Well, so um, I'd seen people using these at the water points, and uh, basically, it's um, it looks like that. Really, it's just a it's like one of those houses you used to get to um, to. Uh, leaking all over the sofa so um it's a good job I did that used to get them to fill the tires up in your car and uh, I suppose they've moved on to filling water up it's like a little hose nowadays the concept they pinched it so um, I've seen people I saw them and I thought that looks quite good for uh, because it can obviously expand quite a lot and it's quite um, it's quite portable so I thought I'll try one of these out and uh, so I got one off Amazon for 15 quid it was and then a few quid posters so I um, got this one off Amazon and uh, took it to the water point and I was filling it up yesterday and it took like usually it takes 20 minutes to fill it up 25 minutes maybe, not long, 
plugged this thing in yesterday. It's like 45 minutes to fill it up. So, um, you know, it it's not, for me, I don't always have 45 minutes at the water point. Usually, um, there's different things that you've got to consider. A, you might not have that much time if you're doing um, other things. Um, it's quite long. I think it's even, I mean, you know, and sometimes there's other people at the water point, so not that that should bother you too much because obviously they have to wait. You're there filling up with water, so that shouldn't be a problem. But, um, yeah, in practical terms, I don't, I don't want a hose that's going to take an hour to fill up when I can do it in like half the time. So uh, this one's this one's on its way back. I've got my little box, and uh, I just so that's that's what I've got some labels and uh, bye bye hose. These are the the plate. It's for the license, boat license number, CRT, British Waterways number. They, we've had them for like, for as long as we've had the boat, and uh, it's taken me this, this long to put them on, two years I suppose it's taken to put those on. But you actually need to, um, I had to get the drill out and tap it out, I had to drill the holes. First of all you drill the holes and then you need, um, need one of these, tapper, tap and die that's called. So what you do is you put it in the hole and you turn it with the little um, ratchet and it just, uh, it's, um, just means that I can put some little allen, got these little allen bolts and um, there you go, some little bolts. And, uh, yeah, I suppose that's uh, two years worth of planning there and that, and that little thing. So there we are. I spoke to these guys today um, from this dredging thing, doing the uh, renovation it is really. They're going to renovate. And then uh, have a look at this sign, look at that. Private mooring, moon tiger, keep pad king, I hear paddling, keep paddling, I hear banjos. There you go. So that makes sense to you, I hope. And uh, so, yeah, he said he's just going to, they're going to put the bang the posts in, and then they put that um, orange, like, net in stuff. There's like a, like a, there's a name for it, I can't remember what it was, so that's what they're doing.